Hey everybody, how are you guys doing today? Hope you're doing awesome. Well, I'm going to be doing a review today on the Kat Von D lipsticks. I know these are not new whatsoever. They're actually discontinued. Don't be mad at me, but I really wanted to go over them. Really awesome colors. So I have three of the Foiled Love lipsticks from Kat Von D. They are in the clearance section of Sephora right now for $7, which is a steal. And then I have one of the Painted Love lipsticks from her same line that came out during the same time. Four lipsticks here to review, and if you would like to see um, my review and swatches for these, then stay tuned. Alrighty, so I don't have any color on my lips right now. I'm gonna start out with the lightest color, and this one is from the Foiled line. And this one is called Forever and Never. But the packaging looks like this. This is Forever and never and it's basically just a dark nude that's really really shiny um this one apparently is really really popular let's try it on So this would be the lipstick that I would wear with what I'm wearing today. Kind of a bronzy color. It is actually kind of flattering on me um, because I'm so white I wasn't really sure if it was actually going to look good or not. I'll show you what this color looks like on the back of my hand too. They're still very smooth but it's almost kind of a bronzy kind of rose gold without being so rose. I like it. The only thing that I have to say is the smell. It smells like cheap lipstick, unfortunately. But her new lipsticks that just came out, which are amazing, they're all like creme brulee scented. She did good with changing the scent. So that was the first one, Forever and Never, and I'll just show you a up-close look of it. Excuse my paleness. Again, I got a ring light and I've had to redo my whole setup and everything so that I hope you guys like this. Now I'm whiter than ever. <laughs> kind of crazy. So we're gonna move on to the next one. Okay, so the next one I have, this is in her Painted Love line, and this one is called Lolita. I did use this in my previous video for my birthday look, and it's basically kind of a pinkish brown mauve color, but it's a nice nude for the fall. It's a little bit darker, um, so I'll go ahead and slap this baby on. But I like that it's a little bit darker. So again, has the kind of cheap lipstick smell, whatever. Uh, that's just part of the line. But this one has a black packaging with the little roses on it. It's actually, it's really pretty. I like the packaging a lot and I'm kind of a sucker for packaging. So this is the Lolita. Okay, so the next one I'm going to do, this is another one of the, the Foiled Love lipsticks. Same kind of silver container with the flowers around the outside, really pretty. And this one is called Valentine, and this is one of my favorites. It's super glittery. I've already used it, so the tip is a little used. And if you can see the glitter in that, it is like amazing. So it's a really glittery kind of pink color. Super glittery. And let's put it on. And they go on really smooth, too. Alright, so this is the Valentine color. It's so pretty. Not exactly something that I would wear with the makeup I'm wearing right now, but we're not worried about that. So we're just worried about what it actually looks like right now. So I'm going to give you a little zoom in. If you can see the glitter in that, it's so pretty. And that glitter is going to stay on all day long too, so you know. So again, guys, Sephora, $7 in their clearance section. Ask them where it is. If there's anything left of it, grab them because they're totally awesome. Disregard the cheap smell. It goes away. You don't smell it unless you're smelling the tube all day. And we'll move on to the next color. Let's see if I can wipe all the glitter off. Let me juicing up my lips a little. Okay, so the last color I have is another one of the Foiled Love colors, and this one is called FTW. So I'm guessing that's For the Win, or I was trying to think of something gross, but... So For the FTW. For the Win? I don't know. So it's basically this really dark, kind of a dark cranberry color with some tiny iridescent glitters to it. But it's really pretty too. Again, yeah, I'll swatch this on the back of my hand even though I forgot the other two. But it's just this dark cranberry color, and it's really, really pretty. We'll go ahead and try it on. Okay, so that color is super, super pretty, too. Again, that's FTW. I'm just guessing for the win. I'm not really sure. It's a winner. It's really, really pretty. So we'll do a... Whoop. <laughs> As I'm breaking my setup, we'll do a little zoom in on that. So it's just a really nice cranberry color. like $12, 12 to $16 um, regular price. I'll look it up and put what the original price of these was for. Um, so I don't know that I would pay that much for these 
considering the scent it, that's a big thing for me is like scent but for quality for seven dollars in the clearance section at Sephora these are excellent excellent there's a lot of other colors that I didn't grab okay, I limited myself to four of them otherwise I would have bought every single color so if you love this video give me a big thumbs up if you're not subscribed to my channel I do lots of awesome things um, subscribe and I won't let you down I love you guys so much as always have a beautiful day I'll see you next time Bye. Bye.